the entrance antiphon. This is the blessed Lawrence who gave himself up for the treasure of the church. For this he earned the suffering of martyrdom to ascend to, with joy to the Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Just a uh, word about this morning's Mass. If you were expecting a bunch of students to be in here as usual for Thursday morning, we've shifted our school Mass this school year to being Friday mornings. Um, so the kids will be in here tomorrow morning joining us for daily Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, giver of that ardor of love for you, by which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service and glorious in martyrdom, Grant that we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, gives to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The word of the Lord. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Bless the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. 
the upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed to the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear till he looks down upon his foes. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the Feast of St. Lawrence, and St. Lawrence was a very wonderful witness to the gospel, especially as we celebrate him as a martyr, but also as we celebrate him as a deacon. And that's really his identity that our gospel focuses on today. As Jesus speaks about his servants, because that's really what the word deacon in the original Greek means the one who is serving at the table, at the altar, helping the priests distribute communion to those who are struggling to get to it, bringing it to the infirm at home, and bearing witness to Jesus out in the world. That life of being a deacon, of being a servant of God and his church, prepared Lawrence for being a martyr. In the same way, even though we're not all called to be deacons, we are all called to be servants of Christ. And so we want to have that same attitude of sharing God's goodness with others. And in fact, Lawrence gave a very wonderful example of this shortly before his martyrdom, when he was brought before the emperor and instructed commanded on pain of death to deliver all 
of the treasures of the Church of Rome since Lawrence was a deacon in Rome. He was told by the emperor, bring me all the treasures and I'll spare your life. And so Lawrence told him, well, it'll take some time to get all of it together because the church is very rich. And in the meantime, he went and sold all those treasures and gave the money to the poor and brought the poor in to the emperor and said, these are the treasures of the church. He understood that even that act, it was not just an act of subversion, which it was, he was tricking the emperor a little bit, but he was also bearing witness to the gospel that what the church values most are the people who are in need of God. And today we have the opportunity to reflect on how we do that, how we show that in our own lives, and how we treat one another who have that need of God, and how we treat the poor who do not yet know him, so that his goodness may be known more and more through our lives and through the way we lay them down for others. And so we ask for St. Lawrence's prayers for us today that we may be ingenious like him, creative like him, in sharing the gospel with those around us who have not yet accepted it, so that God may be known by all, embraced by all, loved by all, as he loves all. Brothers and sisters, we call upon our Heavenly Father and ask him to hear our prayers for the church that, like St. Lawrence, all her members may bear witness to Christ and his salvation, we pray to the Lord. For the world, that it and all its members may respond to the good news of Christ and his salvation, with faith, hope, and charity, we pray to the Lord. For all the sick and suffering, especially for our brothers and sisters who are persecuted for their faith, that God may give them courage and steadfastness and reward in eternal life, we pray to the Lord. For our community of faith here at St. Joseph, that the Lord will strengthen us to have the courage to bear him witness in everything that we do, we pray to the Lord. For all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, especially for the intentions of Teresa Diaz, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. God, our Father, graciously grant the prayers we bring before you today as we unite them to the sacrifice that brings all goodness into the world through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, the offerings we joyfully make on the feast day of St. Lawrence, and grant that they become a help to our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Lawrence, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim, holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Lawrence and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, Gregory, his auxiliary bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon, whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service which we render on the feast of St. Lawrence may bring us an increase of your saving grace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life, 